This is a black and white photograph that was taken of myself in Spain in 2016. I'm going to apply a new, to me, neural filter in Adobe Photoshop to colorize this photo, which, as I said, is a black and white image. No color information exists in this photo. When I hit colorize, a whole bunch of things are going to happen and a computer is going to say, I bet this is about what it should look like. And if I agree, then we're good. Hmm. Well, I am the subject, so I do know what color my suit should be. It's not pink. But the rest of this is pretty cool. I'd say my face is roughly the right skin tone. I am wearing a black shirt. The background behind me was relatively sedate colored, as I recall. This is pretty good. Hey, there's my dad. This is an image taken on Polaroid instant film. Let's apply the colorization to this and see what it thinks. This is taken on Route 66, so what we're looking at is uh, Route 66 stretching off into New Mexico-ish, maybe, yeah, New Mexico, and then a yellow road down the middle of the line there. The <laughs> yellow line down the middle of the road. These are brownish. Let's see what it does. I know most of these colors. I don't remember what color shirt Dad's wearing. I think it's kind of beigey green, maybe olive. Too cool. Okay. Looks good. Here's another Polaroid snapshot. This was taken on Fuji FP3000B. My goodness. Regardless of the content of this photo, myself and my dad's expression notwithstanding, I am impressed with this. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, not even choose anything, and just see what it does. Boom. Wow. This is just the future to me. That is the current state in the year 2021 of the Photoshop Neural Photo Colorization Engine. Dad, thank you. You provided so much to me along this journey. I appreciate that you provided these photos for me to work with on this project. We had a good time on Route 66, and I hope that that conveys somewhat through these photos that I colorized.